Hello guys and welcome to Programming Knowledge. Uh, in the previous video, we learned about the enter message box or uh, showing information and uh, how to use checkboxes and radio buttons and print uh, their user given outputs in this console. So this is output from the previous video and uh, in this video it is a continuation so in this video we'll be learning about how to create menu menu bar basically so this bar how to create that into a kinder window so i'll just show you the output of the previous video so how you can uh, put a menu bar over here so let's get into it so for a menu bar you just need to type in and uh, that is create a variable menu is equal to menu this is a inbuilt option so it will come as an default passing this variable which we have taken and root dot config okay and menu is equal to menu so this is like a um, verifying that the variable which we have taken for the menu uh, widget is equal to that variable itself so menu again okay so these are the two lines which you require just to create a bar over here in the top of the kinter window widget so now to create multiple options within it i'll just space it down a bit okay so create a multiple options within that uh, create another variable menu or a create a sub menu sub m1 is equal to uh, sub m1 is equal to the menu itself the main um, parent object menu and it is this the the function which we are going to use right now is a inbuilt method so menu dot add cascade okay and providing a, a label to it so label is equal to what you want to provide file right so usually over, over here you can see file edit uh, view navigate so this file is over here the label name so file and currently we are not providing any functionality to that so just close it it's already and uh, if you want to provide something within that file menu use sub m1 which is the above variable dot add underscore command which is over here and label x a label is equal to exit so i'll just show you the output so it will be more clear so there is some uh, error so i was uh, mistaken over here that the uh, widget uh, widget variable which we are using should have the parent kinder window so here instead of menu we are using root so it uh, gets attached to the main kinder window so let's run this now so as you can see the output here is the menu bar but uh, you can't see the exit option right now right as it is not there the file has been created right okay so we'll just move on to uh, the method that is how you can add that exit which is over here into uh, or below the file for example this is the main and if you want to add new project or something like this exit how you can do that right so just create menu as an argument for that and pass sub m that's it now you see the output it will be more clear 
so file and exit okay so you have created a successful um, menu option now we'll just copy this one and create another one okay just uh, rename it will be using it as two sub m2 we also change it over here as two change over here as well and name it as option option and uh, say it as about so um, let's see the output okay over here we have to add it as two now that is good so we have created two uh, file options that is file with exit and file with about so this is basically how you can create a, a menu uh, widget or a menu field within a kinto window with the sub options as well right okay so now basically now we, we need to provide a command so that is for exit so if i click on to exit I want to exit the entire Kinto window, right? So, comma dot command is equal to exit, okay? But the exit method is down over here, right? just cut this and place it over here at the top so it will detect now so the error is gone and for same uh, we will do this for about uh, comma will provide a command is equal to a b t now we have to create a message box that is wait define a b t that is the function which we have mentioned over here in the about command and and uh, just use a kinter message box to show how it works dot message box dot show info and provide the title as a first argument welcome to authors comma this is demo for menu fields okay so this looks good and let's run this now all right uh, but uh, i guess we have some kind of error over here show info okay so what is the error right So I'll just look into it and I'll just tell you what is the error. So over here, we just don't need to do this. This is fine, I guess. Okay, so the error has gone. So these are the two options that is file with exit and menu option with about, right? So let's click to exit. So as you can see, the window is exited. So the command which we have provided that is exit has been executed successfully via this argument command and uh, let's see for the option for about option and about so the output is successful uh, this is a title welcome to authors and this is a demo for menu fields okay so this is a message box kinter message box so so this is a basic approach of creating 
uh, menu fields within a Kinto window. Uh, you can use um, as many as options you need and create sub menu within it and provide commands to it using this method. So it is just like a button with this command approach. So this was it for this video guys. In this video we have learned about how to create uh, menu fields within the Kinto window. Yep. Thanks for watching.